to the Roman audience a bloody spectacle. To the Roman gladiator, the last chance for enslaved man to beat his way out of enslavement. To get ready, long hours were spent training both mind and body to rise to the test. Day, all were required to stretch to the utmost their strength, their courage, their power. Devotion to this task meant that one had entered the race to win or to lose. It sharpens your reflexes, make you time the combinations right. All can't get you back, but that other man sure will. an insoluble conflict, a conflict between the aesthetic beauty of boxing and the brutality of its outcome. He's a good boy. 
but you gotta teach him. Show him how to use that ring. Get so he knows it's like the back of his hand. It's like he knows his own self. To the Greeks, an art, an art for the sake of glory. To the Romans, a skill, a skill that could give one to live. It was a harsh master, one with long hours tuning both body and mind to a state of unattainable perfection. It attracted spectators like a flower attracts the bee. They came to watch finely honed bodies engage in a struggle. A struggle for the mastery of man over man in a physical world. cooperation, dialogue between trainer and boxer, teacher and pupil. A long time to go. Day after day, you gotta come in and work out. Don't poop. Get the ball in the heavy bag. Exercise and get the poop. Doing maybe the last you like to be doing. Thank you. 
if he's good, he'll be like a father to you. So that's his son. To teach you how to fight, you're going to stand back and let you do it alone. Bring out the best in you. There ain't too many men who can do that. You got to get ready. In the ring, it's a whole lot different from on the floor. The ball, a bag, a piece of air. You're hitting another man. Another man who don't want to be hit. Who wants to hit you first. You better be ready for it. Keep your body loose. Don't tense up. Keep your mind free. You're going to need it. You're on your own. You're on your own, boys, so do what I told you. But do a whole lot more. Finally, the boxer stood alone. One man against another in the ultimate test. Survival. Martial art, ticket to freedom, spectacle for the masses. With the rise of Christianity and the fall of the Roman Empire, boxing ceased to exist gladiator sport. In the 18th century, it was finally revived as the noble art of self-defense, an illegal form of gambling supported by people well for their excitement. Once again, it became a spectator sport, promising its participants the world and delivering it. It has continued. To this day, men fight in this way for reasons that have not changed in over 2,000 years.